happy Sunday! So I'm actually heading to an event today that I'm really excited about and I thought it might be fun to take you along with me. So I'm actually in the middle of all of my like finals craziness at school and I kind of decided that like, okay, I did enough work for now, I need to take a little bit of a break. And there's this really cool event going on in New Jersey that I thought would be like a perfect escape from everything that's going on right now here in Manhattan. So this event is called the New Jersey Barn Crawl and it essentially functions the same way as like a pub crawl does. But instead of crawling from pub to pub and drinking, we're instead gonna be crawling from barn to barn and experiencing all that comes with that. So it's pretty much gonna be like learning about people's homesteading practices, learning about their fiber production, petting their animals, experiencing the outdoors, and that's pretty much exactly what I need right now. Oh, also, let me show you my outfit today because I am wearing one of my own handwoven pieces. So this piece is actually my first ever attempt at like sewing a garment on my own. And it's actually using the warp that came on my loom when I bought it secondhand. So it's kind of like my first time using my loom, my first time sewing with my own fabric on my own. So it's like a really like special and sentimental piece. And yeah, let me show you. brought with me one of my knitting projects which you might recognize if you saw my Vogue knitting live video. These are the two yarns that I got during that yarn event and I'm using one of Barker Wool's assigned pooling projects. Um, actually I combined two of them. So this is two of her patterns mashed together to make this completely silly bobble covered shawl. Once I got to New Jersey, I met up with one of my professors who I've become friends with and we journeyed from barn to barn together. But she's camera shy, so you won't see a whole lot of her in this video. Our first stop was Hidden Pastures Luxury Fiber Farm in Branchville, New Jersey. We spent the morning touring around their beautiful property and meeting all of their wonderful fiber producing animals. Once we got to know everyone, we had the chance to browse their shop and see all of the lovely things made out of their fibers.
after our beautiful visit, we drove about an hour to our next destination, which was Jenny Jump Farm in Belvedere, New Jersey. This farm specializes in preserving a specific sheep breed called Jacob, and those sheep are just so dang beautiful. They also had a whole variety of other non-fiber animals at their farm, which were such a joy to see. After this visit, we set out in search of lunch and stumbled across a very bizarre flea market. And then we found a super cute hot dog stand. After our lunch, we rushed over to our final destination of the day, which was Windswept Sheep in Pittstown, New Jersey. Unfortunately, we got there right when they were closing down and packing up for the day, but they really kindly let us stay for a little bit and browse and buy a few things. We also had the chance to peek at the farm's gorgeous flock of Romney and Dorset sheep. On our way back to the train station, we decided to make one last stop at a local yarn store. I told myself I wasn't gonna buy anything because I had already gotten quite a bit that day, but this store was so cute and when I saw that they had cochineal, I just couldn't resist. Hello again, it's the end of the day and me and my lovely bag of goodies are now gonna head home. I showed you, I think, most of the things that I got already, so let me just do a quick little recap and yeah, then I'll head home.
Okay, I just propped you on my backpack and my train's coming any second, so I'm gonna do this very quickly. So um, let me just start by going through some of the things that you saw me get earlier on in the video. So the first thing I got is some beautiful mohair in a hand-dyed mini bat in this gorgeous green color, which I'm definitely gonna use for just like, Okay, we're gonna speed run this. I got a little green mini mohair bat, which is super cute, obsessed with this color. It looks just like that tree. I got this blend of Rolags, which I got because the color is amazing and also because it has yak fiber and it was such a joy to meet those yaks. I knew I had to bring some of their fiber home. I got another little collection of Rolags from that first farm. And this one includes a whole variety of fibers from the farm itself. So I just thought this was like a special collection of a little bit of everyone that they had there. I got, also from that first farm, a teeny koala, which reminds me of my boyfriend. So this is a gift for him because it's his birthday next week. At the second farm we went to, I didn't actually end up getting anything, even though I really loved a lot of the things they had. So nothing from that farm. And then from the third farm, I just got two very quick things. So we got this beautiful hand dyed braid in a color palette that is very much my style. I just absolutely love this like chartreuse and kind of like deep plum purple color. Beautiful. And then I also got this one pound ball of this like electric purple wool mohair blend, which if you guys have been following my channel for a while, you know that I love this color. This color does things to my brain. It makes me so happy. <laughs> a couple other things. My friend ended up getting an entire Romney fleece and she very kindly just like handed me a huge pinch full of it. I was telling her that like, I really want to process a fleece someday, but I don't think I'd ever really be able to in my current living situation. So she was like, here's a little sampler. So I got to take this home and process it, which is so exciting and so incredibly kind of her. And then the last thing I got, which I'm not gonna pull out because it's in the backpack that you're sitting on, but I did end up actually getting some cochineal bugs, which I'm gonna use to dye some things red. So stay tuned, because that's definitely gonna become a video in the future. I'm very excited about that. So yeah, that's pretty much everything I got. This entire day has been so much fun and it was definitely kind of like the break from the hustle and bustle that I very much needed. I pet so many sheep and so many goats and touched so much yarn and I couldn't ask for anything more. <laughs> okay, my train's coming, so things might get loud in a second. Thank you so much for joining me on this week's video and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye.